It's quiet right now. You can't see anything. Can't hear anything. Can't smell anything. Sometimes it feels good that way. Sometimes it doesn't. Some people never want to wake up. Some people just can't wait to wake up for the next day. And some people just don't know, I guess. You don't know what's going to happen when your eyes open nowadays. Maybe the usual, you know, shower, eat breakfast, brush your teeth, socialize a bit, work, you know. But the way things are going now in the world, it's like a game. You gotta see if you'll be the one to see another day, or if it's your last day. Every day you turn on the TV, the internet, your iPhone, and you see a few people or more than a few that die. Terrorists, criminals, insane people, innocent people. I told a friend the other day, it seems like every day people are dying more and more. It seems like these bad things just keep getting worse and worse. He said, it's always been like that. It's just that you can find out about it more easily now. Over here though, now it seems like those who say they are here to protect and serve, are not. Here in this world, and in this time, the only one who protects and serves you, is yourself. License registration, please. Yeah, sir. Hey, well, what was the reason for you pulling me over? Just wait here. But can you just tell me why you pulled me over? Just wait here till I run you. Well, hey, I don't remember doing anything wrong. I didn't run a red light. I didn't cut anyone off. I was just trying to get to work. Hey, hey. Out so you're going to be a problem? No. Watch your mouth. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but you go on yelling at me and it's fine, right? I'm not yelling at you. I'm trying to tell you you have responsibilities now. I know that, I do. You think I don't know that? Well then why is it so hard for you to understand me? <laughs> have you ever tried to understand me? What do you mean? You're here asking me to pay you the rent like I make all the money in one check. I just got the job. I'm trying to pay off my debts, but I'm already stressed out with school, and you're just on my ass 24-7. Well, you're an adult now, Albert. You're not some kid or a teenager anymore. You're going to be 21 already. This is stupid. What? Because you don't want to take responsibility for what you owe? Jesus, Mom, I'm not saying that. I'm gonna pay, but I just can't pay everything every time you ask for it. You know, you act like I don't have my own plans. You know, I wanted to save up and get the hell out of here, but I can't. It's like I get a check and it just disappears. Basically working just to live. Well, honey, I'm sorry. That's exactly how life is, Al. You basically work to live. You just don't understand. What don't I understand? I mean, seriously, what's the point of being here if it's like this? I mean, why would you bring me here so I can suffer through all this? I pray to God your child never says that to you. You know, when you were a little kid, you used to say, I'm gonna work one day, Mom so I can help you out. So you don't have to stress out. I am not asking you to keep a promise that you made a while ago. I'm just saying that. 
I think you had much more heart then. Now, I don't know. I'll see you in the morning. Mom, I'm... Here. I paid for the ones you wanted. Make sure you use them. And don't mistreat them like the last ones. I think my doctor's appointment will be over at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Will you still be able to pick me up? Excuse me, officer, is there a problem? Back of the vehicle, sir. Okay, I just want to know what I did wrong. Back of the vehicle now. No, look, am I being arrested or am I being detained? If not, am I free to go because I'm going to be late? Don't make this any harder than it has to be. I don't care if you're late. Okay, look, I just want to know what I did. Hey, what are you doing, man? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> gonna take my beanie like that? Yep. Here. You can use mine. It's all good. I look cuter than you anyway. Oh, you look so fabulous. What are you working on? My project and then my speech. You're giving a speech. Yeah, I'm giving a speech. I didn't want to, but uh, my counselor kind of forced me to. Oh, one second. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm good, and you? Yeah, I'm just a little nervous, Dad. It's your dad. Mm-hmm. Tell him I said hi. Mercedes says hi. He says congratulations, and if you're going to eat with us later. If I have time. Uh-huh. No, I understand. Okay. All right, Dad, hey, I gotta go, okay? Uh-huh. No, okay. All right, thank you for the advice, Dad. Okay. All right, bye. How's he doing? Uh, he's doing good. He's here? Yeah, he uh, flew in yesterday. That's great. Is his job gonna let him stay? Just glad he's here, you know? How do you feel? About? Us graduating. I'm nervous, you know? Kind of scared. Why? Because everything's about to change. We won't meet at the same places anymore. We won't eat at the same places. We won't sit at the same tables. I'm kinda scared of leaving everything behind. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad for the people I've met and I'm glad to graduate, but I'm just a little scared of what life has for me. What? Okay, I, I can't get over this. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna put a line. Okay, well, let me take off my glasses. No, 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 no. Keep them on. They look good on you. It's you. <laughs> Am I ready? <laughs> you make the dorky faces <laughs> every time. You have no right to keep me here like this. No fucking right. Hey, hey, put your hands down. Officer, please, I have a little curl. <laughs> hey, hey, put your hands down. Put your hands behind your back. What? Do you have a weapon? No. Knives, pepper spray? No. What's that in your pocket? Officer, please, I have a little girl. There's no one. To... Hey, hey, put your hands down. Hey, put your hands down. Put them down.
What else do you ask me, huh? Morning, Ma. Where are you off to so early? I'm gonna go pick up the cake for the party. You don't wanna wait a little bit until I'm finished making breakfast? No. Um, uh, but actually I was thinking, what if I just bring something back from the store? That way you don't have, you know, you have more time to prepare for everything. Okay, if I don't have to cook, then yeah. Bye -bye. Fine. I'll be right back. Be careful. I will. Mija, aren't what? you forgetting something? Just learn this, then you'll be complaining about a headache. Thanks, Ma. Love you. Love you too. Where is she? My daughter's not a suspect. Is she with you? No. Is she in the car? Where's mommy? Ma'am. Grandma! I, Nathan Grain. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will never betray my badge. I will never betray my badge. My integrity. My integrity. My character. My character. Nor public trust. Nor public trust. I will not be influenced. I will not be influenced. In any manner on account of personal bias or prejudice. In any manner on account of personal bias or prejudice. I will always have the courage. I will always have the courage. To hold myself and others. To hold myself and others. Accountable for our actions. Accountable for our actions. I will always uphold the Constitution and the community that I serve. I will always uphold the Constitution and the community that I serve. I will and faithfully perform the duties of police officer upon which I am about to enter, so help me God. I will and faithfully perform the duties of police officer upon which I am about to enter, so help me God. Officer Green, congratulations. I got 11.99. 11.99. Code 34 in progress. Shots fired. I repeat, shots fired. What's your location? I'm at 5th and Owl Street, facing west. <laughs> Suspect is right behind me. Do you have visual description of the suspect? He's shooting. He's shooting. Fuck! Suspect is hooded with face covered, about 5'8", possibly 160 pounds. I'm hit. I repeat, I'm hit. I'm taking cover behind my vehicle facing the street. Someone get me a car. <clears throat> Shit!
Thank <laughs> you.